Welcome back, crafters. Today I'm going to show you how I make some embellishments for my floral arrangements. And I'm going to start off by painting these glass pebbles from the Dollar Tree, whatever color it is that I would need. How many times I have wanted a different color than what I've been able to find. So I just take these glass pebbles from the Dollar Tree and I turn them bevel down on my newspaper. And for this one, I'm going to use a silver paint. Actually, I think it's has mirror, it's a mirror paint. And then I'm gonna lay some more down, bevel down. And I'm going to spray these white. I have used many different colors. A few years back, I needed a certain color of purple for my daughter's wedding. So I sprayed many of them purple. I've sprayed them pink for baby showers, pink and blue. So whatever color you're looking for and you can't find, um, you can spray them that color. Now that I've sprayed them, I'm going to let them dry. And after they have dried, I've brought them in so that I can show you that um, spraying them on the back side does keep the beveled side still shiny. It's still clear. This is the white one. You just want to make sure that you do spray them on the back side, having the beveled side down. Now I want to show you some of the embellishments that I do put in florals, especially weddings. Um, I have the floating crystals and I also have made some beaded picks as well as a brooch. Here I'd like to show you how I start with the floating crystals. I take fishing line, it doesn't matter what kind, just fishing line. And I have these bigger crystals that I did buy at Hobby Lobby in the wedding section. And I'm gonna start by just tying one of the bigger crystals onto the end. And then I'm going to take just a smaller bead and thread it through so it can be on top. Next I'm going to take one of the rounded beads and I'm going to thread the fishing line up through the bottom and then I'm going to wrap it around and go up through the bottom again. This will allow the bead to be moved in however far apart that you want it without slipping down. And then I'm just going to add another little bead on top. You can add as many beads as you like and use whatever type of bead that you want to use. Again, I went through the bottom and I came back around and went up through the bottom again. Sometimes this was tedious. My hands don't always work like I want them to. The beads were a little small. You do have to be careful not to get your fishing line in a knot. But overall, it's not difficult to thread those beads on there. You just keep doing this until you get it the length that you want it. 
for my projects that I used in my daughter's wedding, I put four in each floral arrangement and I made two longer than the other two. To put these in my floral arrangements, I would either glue the end of the fishing line onto the plate that I was putting my floral arrangement on, or I would just attach it to a floral stem. Next, I would like to show you how I made beaded picks. These picks are beautiful in floral arrangements. And again, I use these in my daughter's wedding flowers. And I made different sizes, uh, use different beads. So what I did first is get the beads out that I want to use. And for this, I believe I used 26 gauge wire. I'm just going to cut a piece off. You're going to thread your bead through and then give it a twist. Now, how many times you twist it is the distance that you will put between each bead. For this, I'm going to twist it three times. Now you're going to put the bead on one side of the wire and then pull the both wires together when you twist. Again, you can make this as long as you want it and use whatever beads that you would like to use. Just make it yours. Once I have it the length that I want it, I will take a piece of floral stem. This is just leftover floral stems that I keep. And I will wrap the wire around that stem. That way I can just poke it into a flower arrangement uh, anywhere. Next, I want to show you how to make a layered beaded pick. For this, I'm going to choose two different size beads. And I'm just going to cut my wire, I'm going to say roughly around 10 inches. And to start, I'm going to put my starter bead on.
and I'm going to twist it. And for this one, the more you twist, the longer the stem will be. So I usually twist it several times. Then my next bead that I thread on there, I won't take it all the way up to the bead that I just put on. I will measure it to see how far apart that I want it. And then I will twist that bead as if it's the only bead on there. And I will continue this process until I've put all the beads on there that I want on there and have them at the distance apart that I want them. Once I get all of my beads on and have them at the distance that I want them, I will put the wires together and then tw twist from the bottom to make a longer stem. Now you can put as many beads on here as you want and make it as full as you want. Next I want to show you how I make a beaded brooch. Here I'm just showing you some of the variety of the beaded picks that we've made. But for the brooch, I'm going to take a beaded pick. This one I have just done in a single twist between each bead. And I am going to Turn it end to end and wire the ends together. I've just made a circle out of it. And next I am going to put one of the larger crystals that I used on the floating crystals. Again, these are the crystals that I got in the wedding department at Hobby Lobby. And I am just going to glue that large crystal into the center of the beaded pick. And just for showing you purposes, I'm just using hot glue, but many times I will go ahead and put a drop of E6000 glue to help hold it in place. And there I have my own brooch that I can put in the middle of my ribbons. And here is a sample of what the floating crystals look like hanging from a floral arrangement as well as some of the beaded picks. I believe the beaded picks look beautiful in a floral arrangement, especially a wedding floral arrangement. And usually I'm not shy with it. I will put many in there. Again, you can use any beads that you like. You can make it yours. If you like what you've seen today, please hit the like button below and subscribe. I would love to hear from you. Until next time, happy crafting.